In the first part of this course, we saw why and how to break out of old patterns. What we're going to deal with next is how to develop new habits. Do you remember how Cuny Reeves in The Matrix gets a program downloaded into his brain in a matter of seconds, after which he opens his eyes and says the legendary words, I know Kung Fu. Now, effortless learning or change, it's the wet dream of all procrastinators and of many students. But I've got bad news here. If we want to see a change happen in us, we must put in the hours. There's just no way around it. The market has a flood of books and material baited to lure us into the idea of effortless learning. Just Google the phrase effortless exercise and you will see scores of links popping up, systems designed to shape a better you. But all of us know deep inside that it is nothing more than a marketing ploy. Changing the shape of our body requires exercise to burn off the calories. We also need strength training for the development of muscles. There's just no way for us to lose weight sitting in our couch. The same goes for sleep learning. From Dexter's laboratory to Aldous Huxley's brave new world, fiction is full of examples where characters learn a new language or acquire a new skill through sleep hypnosis. It sounds too good to be true. And it is. Unfortunately, that has not prevented a number of scam courses that claim to increase your ability to learn while sleeping. People fall for it all the time. Our brains tend to take the easy way out as it puts less cognitive strain on it. However, electroencephalography study have shown that it is not possible for a human being to recall the stimulus they received when they were asleep after they woke up. Now, repetition is the mother of all learning. As we saw in the first part of this course, when we have new experiences such as learning a new skill or changing habits, we are changing the wiring of our brain. But how do we develop new habits? What happens in the brain? We have to activate various portions of the brain to perform any task. Our brain coordinates a complicated set of actions that involves visual and audio processing, motor function, language skill and more. The first time we do something new, it takes time. It requires mental effort, focus, and is actually very energy consuming. So now, our brain will look to optimize the coordinated activities and does this through practice. And this process is called myelination. Myelin is the white matter that fills our brain. It is a fatty tissue which is wrapped around the long axon that extends out of the neurons. Research has shown that myelination increases both the strength and speed of the nerve impulse by forcing the electrical charge to jump across the shed to the next open spot on the action. Strength and speed. We're getting better and faster at what we're doing every single time we do it. So the bad news is, for a habit to become a habit, we need to repeat the soon-to-be habit over and over and over and over again. So as we practice, whether by hitting jump shots in the basketball court, riding daily or playing our favorite video game, in our brain, first the new connections grow, after which the more we fire electrical signals through this connection, the stronger and faster it becomes. After a while, the firing goes so fast that we don't even have to think about it anymore. The action became automated, very energy efficient automation. The action became a habit. What we're going to see next is why creating new habits is so hard and often fails. Then I'll give you a simple strategy to enjoy the process of making new habits. And also a brilliant strategy to feed off existing habits in order to instill new ones.